part of the structure that might be overlooked. It's a piece of mobile art history that reflects the very soul of the city's Mardi Gras celebration. NBC 15's Darwin Singleton shows us something we have probably seen but may have forgotten. You may not know his name, but his work has adorned public buildings in the South since the Great Depression. The late Conrad Albrizio was a painter, but he's most celebrated for his grand murals, meticulously created with tiny ceramic tiles. Louisiana was fortunate to land many of his creations. And you've probably seen his work too. Every time you've walked into the Mobile Civic Center Arena. But right now, just like the arena, the future of that artwork is in question. Conrad Albrizio created them in the late 60s and they remain there today. Golden mosaic murals 16 feet high and 43 feet wide. Looking down on the lobby of the Civic Center, a circus scene on one side, a carnival scene on the other. They're truly majestic. Kurt Blackwell knows them well. He watches over at Mobile's Carnival Museum and tells me the Mardi Gras connection is unavoidable. You have emblem figures of some of your older mystic societies, such as the Order of Myths, the Iams, the Kaors. And so he's speaking to our carnival history and how that carnival history relates to mobile life throughout the whole of our year and the wonderful series. Daphne native Lexi Adams has seen them too. She's collections manager at the Louisiana Art and Science Museum in Baton Rouge and is a fan of Albrizio's work. She's worried that Mayor Stimson's plan to demolish the Mobile Civic Center might overlook the value of Albrizio's mobile masterpieces. To physically remove the works would be its own task. To cut them from the wall and bring them to the ground level where you could build a crate around them, either for travel or for storage. The murals are mentioned in the city's request for proposals for the development of the Civic Center site, but it only says the murals should be retained or reused, not must be. If the Civic Center comes down, they could be incorporated into whatever happens here, moved to another location, or stored away from the public's eye altogether. Shaving them won't be easy nor cheap, but Lexi says their preservation shouldn't be left off the table. It only makes sense to protect and preserve these beautiful works of art. In downtown Mobile, Darwin Singleton, NBC 15 News. If you would like to learn more about the life and work of artist Conrad Albrizio, we have a link to the Louisiana Art and Science Museum. Look for it in our Find It section at MyNBC15.com.